Hey royalties, here at the top gist over the week on the street as it concerns celebrity relationship gist. So, a cheating allegation, an unconventional relationship, a sudden breakup, and a reason for a breakup. But before we get right into all of this, hey royalties! Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the real MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So during the course of the week, a lot has happened. First, from the sudden breakup between socialite and mother Lori Harvey and her actor boyfriend Damsey Idris, all of that I shared in the video. You can check it out. And also, Jeezy and Neil Long in a conversation opened up and talked about a lot, especially why he is divorcing his wife Jeannie Mai. That you can also check in a video that has dropped. You guys, you better check it out. But right now, let's just settle on these two major stories. Robin Dixon covering up the alleged cheating of her husband Warren Dixon. All your housewife fans, you better gotta hear for this one. And also in this video, we'll be looking at Bray Tacey unconventional relationship with Nick Cannon and what she said about how Nick would respond to if she were to date somebody else. Y'all, get your cup of coffee, your tea, your cocoa, whatever it is, and get into this gist with us. Bray Tacey spills the tea on her unique relationship with Nick Cannon. So today we're talking about the wild ride about Brie Tacey, one of the selling sunset stars and her relationship with the one and only Nick Cannon. Let's spill the tea. Brie Tacey, our real Toton reality star, joined the selling sunset squad in season 6. She's got a jaw dropping client list featuring big names like Drake, Justin Bieber and Tiger. On top of all that, she's got a son named Legendary with none other than Nick Cannon. The actor, rapper, and TV host known for his impressive 12 child roster with various partners. Legendary arrived in July of 2022, and to show their love, Brie and Nick even got matching tattoos dedicated to their little one. Oh. Brie's opened up about Nick calling him a very nurturing, loving human. She gave a shout out to his support during her own medicated home birth. But here's where it gets spicy. Your relationship isn't your typical Hollywood love story. In the first episode of season 7 of Selling Sunset, which dropped on Netflix November 4, 2023, Brie spilled the beans to her castmates. She said, I love Nick, I'm happy with my relationship, however that is, and like, if I date, I date. Hold the phone, right? When Emma Hennen asked if Nick would be cool with her dating others, Brie just went, I don't know, maybe. Q Christian's Tiger's jaw drop moment, you've got to be kidding me, that's not fair drama a lot. Brie stance is crystal clear, she does what she wants, but she's all about respect, not just for Nick but for his other partners too. She's like, even his situation and stuff have always been nothing but respect of that. I know people don't get it and I don't care that people don't get it. Christian is handing out the praise calling Brie a new age power position. They even threw in some playful shade at Chelsea Lescani, another realtor on the show who's been quite vocal about her disapproval of Brie and Nick's deal. Chelsea's called Nick a master manipulator and she's not holding back on the criticism, saying creating multiple broken homes is disgusting. She's even brought her faith into it, saying she doesn't get the situation as a Christian. She's worried about the kids being born into a world where their pops isn't 100% present. Yikes. Bree's been upfront with Chelsea saying she doesn't have to understand it or accept it. She's all about this is my relationship. I go home to bed to him, you don't. She stood her ground and defended her son, emphasizing that he's loved and well taken care of by both parents. Hmm. That looks like a hell of a twisted relationship if you ask me, but what is your take on Brie and Nick drama? Fair or unfair? Or is a losing game that she already created for herself? Is Chelsea onto something or is she being too hard? Whoosh, that was a lot. I don't know if I can be Bray Tracy, but certainly I'm sure I cannot be Robin Dixon covering up an alleged cheating because the Real Housewives fan we're not having it. 
y'all let's look into that story so we housewives fam gather here this one is for you as explosive our hop season 8 premiere robin's cheating scandal yeah the real housewives photo mock drama unveiled robin's shocking secret about one's affair so you guys, it's time to spill the tea on the Real Housewife of Potomac season 8 premiere. Robin Dixon takes the stage, but things go wild as the audience questions her silence on Warren Dixon's alleged cheating last season. Let's dive right in. So last season, Robin and Juan got engaged again, but rumors swirled about Juan's affair with the other woman claiming he paid for her hotel room. Robin defended Juan saying he was just helping a friend who lost her wallet at a casino and she trusted him completely. Her fellow housewife led by BFF Giselle Bryant staged an intervention in season 8. They wanted Robin to face the truth and wondered why she stayed quiet about the cheating rumors in season 7. Robin explained she didn't want to fan the flames and believed in one. She confessed the pandemic left her unmotivated and joyless and she needed to work on her happiness. The audience, however, was not buying it. They loudly booed and called Robin boring and irrelevant, even shouting, bye Robin, bye, and you're fired. It's not relevant to my life, so I did not feel the need to walk in front of a camera Robin defended her relationship and said she was happy with one and planning to get married. She asked the audience to respect her choices, but the audience remained unimpressed, sharing for Giselle, Ashley, and Carissa. They wanted more drama and spilled tea about other housewives like Karen Huger and Wendy Ostefo. Ciao! It was a very embarrassing moment for Robin, but what is your take, you guys? Do you think the audience should have just respected her decision or or you think she's walking in denial and just lying to herself and she's towing a path that is probably not healthy for her what are your thoughts on the whole season 8 premiere you guys share your thoughts in the comment section i love to hear your opinion what's your take on robin and one should she stay or should she go and that's it pretty much in this video thank you so much guys for watching if you did get to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye